Imagine a mirror, a special mirror. If you look into it in just the right way, either with a special kind of candle or by saying an incantation, a face will appear. The family that owned it moved out of their house suddenly after finding their daughter dead in the living room next to it. She had read the inscription on the back and gazed into it. Not half a minute later, she turned around, smiled as polite as can be, and slit her wrists open. Her seven-year-old brother saw the whole thing, the only other one in the house at the time. And last thing I heard, they were trying to figure out how to charge him with murder. <sighs> Damnedest thing is, they never found the knife. Nothing near her body could have made those cuts. The mirror I'm talking about is right behind you. And knowing that, if I left you here alone, how long do you think it would take for you to try and find the inscription? And once you did find it, carved into the wood of the frame in what looks like a child's handwriting, how long do you think it would take you to look into the mirror and speak it, just to see what would happen? People are curious, and most of them love to be scared. Your show is good. I can't remember having seen a better presentation, but that's the problem. Some of what you're doing is based on fact, and if a single episode out of 300 causes one person to mess with forces they don't understand and hurt themselves, I can't stand for that. I won't.